Welcome back to the Aya Tarot. So this reading will be for the air sign Gemini. So anywhere Gemini falls in your chart, the messages may or may not apply. Um, if you like to, um, actually, I'm going to be closing for personal readings, but check your description box to catch all my other social media networks um, information. Um, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. So today I'm going to be actually using the African American Hero deck, okay, instead of the Deviant Moon, okay. I just, I don't know, I just wanted to switch it up for the air signs, all right. So let's get into it. Let's see. Wow, this deck is a little stiff. Hmm, it's usually not like this. What do we have for the Geminis? Yeah, it's really stiff. <laughs> Feels like a new pack. Yeah. Let's see, what do we have for the Geminis this upcoming week? This is actually going to be a weekly reading, all right? Or what to expect within the next seven days, all right, for the Geminis. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have for the Geminis? Any channel messages? Gemini. What's the overall energy for the upcoming week? The overall energy. Okay, the Empress. Wow, okay. We have the Empress. Okay, so this could be you, Gemini, okay? I feel a lot of you are, you're relaxing, you're relaxing this week, okay? Maybe going to the spa, all right? Some of you are really treating yourself very well, all right? I feel like some of you are planning something, but you're not ready to, like, execute the plan yet, or you're not ready to, like, take action on it yet. So you're just waiting, you're just manifesting, sitting, chilling out, okay? You already have, like, everything drawn out. It's just, like, about timing. I feel like some of you, too, like, you know this is going to be something really big or you know it's going to, um, this plan is going to be something great. All right? Let's see. Also, with the owl, Okay. Someone, maybe you're looking out for someone or someone's looking out for you, all right? Like, I'm getting like a watch owl, okay? Maybe some of you are setting up like security cameras, okay? In your home, right? Or around your place of business. Yeah, all right. And I want to say watch hours, like which hours, okay? In the nighttime, all right? Someone's up all night, all right? Like they they sleep during the day and they're up all night. Let's see. Let's get into it for this upcoming week. All right, Six of Swords. Okay, what is this? So with the Six of Swords coming out, so you're definitely like constructing something, Okay. But I don't, I get a sense of like, maybe there could be someone watching you or maybe you're watching someone, all right? But they can't touch you, okay? They can't do anything to you, whatever this is. I feel like some of you are like, you know, I don't want anyone stealing my idea. And then I have the uh, death card here. I'm getting a sense of someone playing like good witch, bad witch. Like, do I want to be a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> You're trying to like figure out like your benefits of being like a good person or a bad person. Okay, should I move in spite or should I be easily uh, easy to forgive? Okay. Because I don't know, I get a sense of like, you know, even when I'm good, even when I'm like in this empress energy or... Even when I'm being a loving, caring, considerate person, people still cross me. People still copy off me. People still, you know, take from me, all right? And then I'm getting a sense of, you know, but when I'm bad, you know, I'm I'm looked at as a bad guy. 
Like, it's like a win, I mean, a lose-lose situation. Like, whether I'm good or bad. Like, when I do things, like, selfishly, okay? Like, when I'm un unconsiderate, people then point out me to be a bad guy. Yeah, the strength card. It's definitely a lot of, I, I don't know, I get, I'm getting a lot of, like, watching, okay? Seven of Swords here. But I feel like in each of these, like, someone's watching, like, an owl you have watching, then this thing here is watching, then you have all these eyes, and then the lion is watching the monkey, okay? Or, like, a watchman, okay? But I feel like a watchman is more of a person that, takes time okay or is in charge of the time whatever you're doing in your time it's like don't get discouraged of like excuse me about others growth okay or others um their titles or their positions okay I feel like some of you aren't feeling noticed, okay, for the things that you're doing. And you're like, you know, hey, look, I just, you know, conquered this or I just accomplished this. But no one's paying you attention, but they're paying like another person attention. Okay, it's like clout chasing, all right? Someone is about clout, all right? I feel like you're, you're the real deal, though. Let's see, what else? Oh, shoot. Okay, let's take the Ten of Swords. All right. I'm kind of getting a sense of like when people see you doing good things, they think that you're doing it for clout. But it's not that. It's just you're doing it because it's in your heart or it's because that's what you want to do. That's what you feel to do. But when like someone else does it, they take heed to it. But I feel like the other person that, that's doing this, they're not very, mm. I don't want to say they're not sincere, but they kind of go wherever the crowd goes, okay? The Ten of Cups, they kind of do whatever the crowd says do, all right? Yeah, I'm getting that song, that girl is a real cloud crowd please <laughs> okay let's see let's go on for the gemini supplement week okay i have the judgment card and then the knight of wands and the five of wands on the bottom of the deck yeah so you could be running into a situation a situation as such but i don't think don't make such a fuss about it okay just, you know, if the crowd wants to cheer on this, this clout chaser, let, let them, okay? I feel like you don't have to be loud. You don't have to make yourself known. You don't have to um, even clarify your position, okay? I feel like they'll eventually see who, like, about this person. Like, everything will come out about this person, um, what they do or who they are, okay? Because I get a sense of you feeling like someone's just fake, you know, they don't they don't know much, they don't do much, okay? They haven't really earned their place, okay? But if you look at it in that way, okay, I'm, that's... Mm, I don't know, Gemini, all right? With the Five of Wands here, though... It's like someone's waiting for, like, someone's crown to fall off. Or, like, for their legacy to crash or something, okay? All right, I have the death card here. I mean, not the death card, the devil card. Okay, and then the moon card, yeah. Someone's definitely watching you here. Let's see. Um, But I feel like this person, they'll never, like, admit to it, all right? They'll stay in secret, all right? Or they'll secret, secretly, like, hate you from a distance or secretly 
you know, want everything that you have. Let's see. I have the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. What is this about? All right. And then the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. I feel like whatever idea that you have or that you're coming up with, okay, you can keep it a secret for a while, all right? Even, I feel like some of you are like, oh, I'm going to share it with like close friends only, all right? Even them, okay? You may feel like, you know, a little alone or like you don't have anyone there, but you do though, okay? And then late night hours, the witching hours, okay? Someone's looking over you, okay? There's that owl again, all right? Like your spirit guides, your ancestors, like they're on your side, okay? I don't know. I feel like someone's just been looking out for you, period. But you, you're not noticing it or like they're doing it on the low, okay? What is the Six of Cups for the Geminis? What is the Six of Cups? All right, I have the Knight of Pentacles, yeah. And then the King of Wands. See, the King of Wands is my card of like, this person is very protective over their crop, okay? They don't let anyone step in. No one can pick from it. Is someone very protective over you, all right? Even with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? I feel like, too, if there's a father figure here, okay, it's like he doesn't want to do so much to show you that, you know, he's been there all along or he's been helping or supporting you all along. Because I feel like if, well, it's like if he was to come out now and just say, yeah, I've always supported you and I loved you and, you know, I'm always here. It will seem phony or it wouldn't seem genuine to you, okay? Or this this doesn't have to be a father figure. It could just be another person, all right? Maybe this is how you're feeling about another person. Like, you want to support them, okay? But you know that everyone... The crowded, like they're crowded right now. Everyone wants their attention. Everyone wants their energy, okay? Everyone wants to be a part of them or what they have, okay? So you're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to like step back for a moment, but I'll, I'll, you know, keep watch over them or I'll keep them protected, okay? Or if they need me, I'm, they know that they can call me, like I'll send... A message to them okay but not a physical message maybe it's just like in the mind okay like in your mind you're saying you know if you need me you can call me it's like one of those unspoken understandings okay yeah i got the ace of pentacles yeah so like i said like a father figure okay this could just be a friend as well all right they are there to help you okay or even you, like they know that you're there to help them. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, yeah. They know that they can call on you. They know you're a reliable person, a caring person, okay? Even even though you're over there from a distance, maybe admiring them or, you know, congratulating them. Like this person knows you're not a hater, yeah. The ju uh, not the judgment, but the justice card here. They know you're not a hater. 
but they also realize that they have to like uh get all the foes or the enemies or the um you know the fake supporters out of their out of their uh life before they welcome you in okay or maybe this is even you getting like the fake supporters out of your own life all right It's like, let me take care of this business first before, you know, we talk or before we make a major move. All right. Yeah. Then the death card here again. Yeah. You know, who's for me and who's not. Okay. Who's the real and the fake. Okay. Who's the dead and the alive. All right. Also, I feel like someone too, they're getting to know their spirit guys even more. Okay. Or their ancestors. Okay. And they're they're able to see like the good spirits around them or the bad spirits around them. So someone is like they're getting in tune with their discernment. All right. So when you first came at them, they might have seen you as somebody they would they would have to you know be careful of. They weren't really sure where where they would put you in their life. They weren't really sure about you. Okay. Like, even though you came as the Empress, okay? The Empress is very beautiful, very calming, okay? Nurturer, okay? But it also can be a little intimidating, okay? You know? If someone comes this way, they will almost seem too perfect, all right? But let's see. Let's get some advice and guidance for the Geminis going forward, all right? Advice and guidance for Gemini's going forward this week. So I feel like someone is starting to see, like, you know, your real nature, okay? But it's after the crowd is gone. After the crowd has left, all right? It's like somebody's going to come back around. And guidance okay for Gemini this is upcoming week okay eight of pentacles yeah prudence someone's definitely looking into detail okay Someone's paying very close attention to you, all right? Or you're paying very close attention to this person, all right? And like I said, the watchman, okay? Someone's definitely a watchman here. They were they think about like the time that you came in their life, the place where they met you at, where, why, when, okay? So for someone, something has to be in perfect, perfect alignment, all right? Everything has to be perfect alignment before they do anything all right i have the swiftness eight of wands okay so like i said i feel like so, someone's they know all right they know you are here for a reason or they know they met you for a reason okay so it's like they may be quick to you know call you quick to text you to quick to double back and you know think on you know that first experience they had with you okay and then we have the Ten of Wands, oppression. Okay. What is this? I don't know. I, I just get a sense of someone kind of feeling like... I don't know. I kind of get someone is like a cry out for help. Okay. They know they need help. They know they need you, okay? But someone's kind of stubborn. Like, they're looking too much into the situation, okay? Or they're overthinking the situation. So, really, the Ten of Wands is like them being stuck in their own mind, okay? Let's see. Buy some guidance for the Gemini going forward. I feel like someone's gonna have a moment too where they're gonna be like oh yeah you were right 
Like, but don't hit them with the I told you so, okay? Yeah, I had the awareness and then the higher thought on the bottom of the deck. Awareness. Someone's about to realize something. Someone's going to be aware of you, okay? Aware of this spirit that's around them, this energy, okay? Just aware of your support, okay? Someone's being more aware of their higher self. So as, as you see like these planets here, it's like someone's more aware of their alignment, okay? It's like they're going to have like an aha moment. Like this is everything that I asked for or this, or this is what I actually manifest, okay? Let's leave the Geminis with the word, okay, going forward for the next seven days. Gemini. Kindness, yeah. So that's what I'm saying, virtue. It's like, okay, kindness. You are a humanitarian maid of love and you are able to share that energy with others exactly i feel like you being who you are okay is bringing someone closer in all right they don't realize why or they it's like they don't know really why but i feel like they're going to they're going to start to figure it out all right It's very hard for someone to accept kindness, okay? Or accept a person like you. So don't be, you know, I feel like some of you are going to be turned off by it, but don't be, you know, too critical on it, on them, okay? Of this person. They're just not used to that. They're not used to your kind, okay? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that, and I'll catch you in the next video.